Hello, I'm Tim Rogers here at the Electronic 3 2019 for Kotaku.com, and I just want to let you know that I have to go to the bathroom really, really bad. Oh, okay. I drank a big cup of free coffee immediately before we sat down, and this is going to be very uncomfortable for me. I'm here with Goichi Suda, director of the No More Heroes series at Grasshopper Manufacture, and that includes the upcoming No More Heroes 3, or Three More Heroes, as they should have called it. I'm also joined by Robin Atkin Downs, the voice of Travis Touchdown. Let's do this. Let's kill. Oh, Tim, Genki. Genki, Kana. Tim, was a Robin Atkin Downs, the voice of Travis Touch Downs. <laughs> oh, man. Thank you. Great role. What's it like to voice a character whose last name is so similar to your last name? Why? Because it's Touchdown and, and Downs? Yeah. I guess uh, pretty cool. No More Heroes 3. I thought there were no more heroes. You found more heroes? Yeah, it's the so, in a way, are you not giving the audience what the title promises? Tim、変わってない。いつもこんな感じなんだよね。<笑><笑><笑><笑> You sound like you're emulating his voice. Maybe when you worked at Grasshopper, you thought it's pretty cool to... You, you like Gochi Suda's sound, so you wanted to emulate that. When I first moved to Japan, it was an opportunity to reinvent my voice. And I wanted to sound like uh, all the cool Japanese dudes that I met. You do. Because I, I just... I started doing it subconsciously, and then it just became my real voice. So, No More Heroes 3 for the Nintendo Switch. Why, wh how is this happening? Why, why did you decide to make a No More Heroes again? Why are there more heroes? Well,やっぱりファンからの要望がすごく大きくて、やっぱナンバリングを作ってほしい。まあ、今年トラビスラクサーゲームを出したんですけども、その前からもうずっと前からかな、やっぱりナンバリングのマスリーが欲しいってい
ですね。ああ、まだでも半年前後とかそのぐらい。うん、And about when can we expect the game to come out? ああ、next year. 2020. Travis at the Tokyo Olympics.、Uh, um, <laughs> no More Heroes is a video game about bosses, in my opinion. It's all the, the bosses are, are the, the sweet stuff. The bosses are the tasty stuff. The bosses are delicious. It's all about delicious bosses. So, can you tell us anything about bosses? Okay, okay. Ah, but I don't know. 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 コタクは俺の家賃を払ってるので。そっか、しょうがないね、それしょ。しょうがない。リークしなきゃいけない。まあでも懐かしいボスが復活するっていうことは言っときましょう。That's a scoop. Second time around is even sweeter. A hundred percent sweeter every time. So how do you get into character for playing Travis Touchdown? What's, what's that like? It's different for Travis. I start on the toilet. That's where it all begins. You know? First you gotta release everything and then be open. To whatever this guy writes, and it's, it's out there. So just kind of get in the studio, have an open mind, and usually the first time I'm seeing is, is when I get there and I, I look at the page, and that's what we're working on. So it's, it's very exciting. What's one of your favorite lines you've recorded as Travis? <sighs> Can we swear? <laughs> oh, go for it. Go, go totally wild. Well, I might blow out, blow out the mic, but one of my favorites is when he flies up in the air and he lands and goes, Fuck it! <laughs> what's, what's one of the lines you've done the most takes on? You know, the most requests? I'm trying to remember the exact line where he says, Oh, God, what is the line about funerals? <laughs> It's some people, I don't know, this is really weird. Uh, I believe it's the first one where he says, Some people like to fuck at funerals. And then what is, what is the end, end line? I should know this. Our, our readers are wild. They'll, they'll go for whatever. But I think I'm going to go for Robin's Moe. Moe? Moe. Oh, very good. Some people like to make love at funerals. I prefer cutting heads off. Moe. I think so, yeah. Killer7, it was at、uh, Salami Studios. I think you were in the back. Yeah, you were in the back of the room. We met through、uh, Chris Zimmerman, who directed all of. Yeah, I think we met during the recording of two, because it was two days of recording at Salami. So you were in Killer7, that was 2005? Uh, I think that was 2005, and I, was, I can't remember the character. I was playing this big guy in a wheelchair. So, so, so. Yeah, Harman. Harman, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was interesting that、uh, you and Chris brought me in for Travis because I remember the first session recording the voice, trying to find the voice of Travis. And when I first spoke like Travis, you said, That's it. And Chris said, Okay, he really likes that. And I felt uncomfortable at first. Like, This sounds kind of weird to be talking like this, you know, but now it's become very natural and it's just sort of that's the way the character is, so now it feels normal for Travis. Do you ever find yourself talking like Travis in everyday life? No. That's probably good, right? Yeah. What directions did you give him for his voice when? You were first looking for Travis Touchdown's voice in No More Heroes. Oh, do you know what kind of person is? I think it's a very good thing to do. I think it's a very good thing to do. I think it's a very good thing to do. I think it's a very good thing to do. I think it's a very good thing to do. I think it's a very good thing to do. I think it's a very good thing to do. I think it's a very good thing to do. ボイスを喋ってもらいながらこう役作りをどんどんしていった感じでまず最初にね必ず声を決めるんですけどもその声が決まった段階からセリフがどんどんまあ追加されていく中でトラベスのキャラクターがどんどん出来上がっていった感じなんですよね。あ、uh,、like I said at first it it seemed very strange it was unlike any I mean I've been fortunate I've been in hundreds of、uh, you know games and、uh, productions and it was probably the most awkward feeling voice at first 
I felt like it was a little bit out of character. I thought, thought it was a little bigger than usual. But, you know, I guess part of these, these characters, I forget there's a name for them, for these Japanese characters. So they're cool, but they're also kind of douchey. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? What's the name of that? There's a, there's a name. There's a name in anime for these particular types of heroes. They're heroes, but there's a little, there's something a little bit off about them. They, they think they're a little bit too cool. There's a name for that, isn't there? He's, he's a cool guy, but he's a little bit of a jerk, you know? The important thing is, at, at, for an actor and as a voice actor, uh, when, when a character is written well, the lines jump off the page, and it's very easy to get into the character. So uh, he's a, a great creator of characters. They're very clear. And so when you look at it, it's like reading a good book. Yeah. You all of a sudden get sucked into the story and the characters. And so uh, for me as an actor, that's what's happened with Travis. It's like once you get in the booth, even if a couple of years have gone by, once you say a couple of lines, it just flows. Travis has a lot of um, a lot of the, so when I when I first started working at Grasshopper a long time ago, it was when No More Heroes One was almost was getting ready to come out, and I remember playing the game a little bit and seeing the because uh, it was in English with Japanese subtitles because in Japan the game was released with uh, English voiceover. Mm -hmm. So I, I remember playing that and reading the subtitles and thinking and then hearing the voice. And at, at that time in my life, I had done some translation before. I, I translated some manga from Japanese into English. I remember reading the, or hearing the English and being like, wow, the translators had like such a good time translating it. Because the, the Japanese was just, uh, well, the Japanese was wild. And then the English was equally wild. And, and I, just, I just remember thinking, wow, this is, I, I couldn't have done this. Translation style slightly too intellectual. I, I don't I don't have fun with my translation style. Whoever's doing that is doing a great job because I don't know what the Japanese is. I don't know what the Japanese translation, but the English that I'm getting is it's super cool. It's got you know it's got some rock and roll to it. It's out there, but it's different. It's it's got its own type of feel. Something very unique. Do do the translators ever thank you personally for writing such fun weird words? <laughs> Can I ask because you, uh, I haven't heard you speak in English, so in Japanese, when he speaks, uh, is his, are his words as flowery and as uh, the way he writes? Ah, so nanda. Ah, honto ni ah, yokata. So to mo, I agree. Being in uh, in meetings with Sudasan when I used to work at Grasshopper was uh, informative to my study of speaking Japanese. I guess one of the the things I was wondering about is how you came up with a character. Did you was it a mixture of growing up with samurai movies maybe and and uh, little Johnny Knoxville or there was a reference in the beginning to Johnny Knoxville. で、彼のバカバカしさみたいなものはすごくベースにあって、そこにやっぱ日本のヒーローのイメージもあったりとか、まさにサムライですよね。あとブギャク大学が好きなので、人気な戦いっていう映画があったあるんですけども、そこの主
we should meet at El Carmen. It's a, uh, it's, it's a Mexican place. Uh, I think it's on 3rd Street. And it has, it's a place where Travis would hang out. When you go in, it's dark. First of all, the, the, the margaritas are amazing. But all around the walls are uh, the Mexican wrestling masks. It's a pretty cool place. We should do an interview there. That would be cool. Have a few margaritas, then see what happens. So. まずそうロビンと本当に飯ね飯行こうよ今度ねご飯食べ行こう。That sounds good. Good to me. Yeah. Let, let us know when you're going and we'll we'll hide in the back and film you with the hidden camera. Okay. コタクだけにある。パパラッチパパラッチパパラッチパパラッチ。コタクだけにある。I like the Joy Division styled shirt. あよくわかってねそうその通り yeah. I I have a Joy Division shirt that I used to wear in the Grasshopper office. I I still own that shirt. And I meant to bring it and wear it today, and I forgot it. So just imagine that I'm wearing that shirt. Okay. But this is normal heroes, right? Very good. Very good, Very good shirt. No pleasure. Known pleasures. Yeah, known pleasures. What are what are the known pleasures of No More Heroes? Probably a little bit of blood, a little bit of sweat, a little bit of tears, with some rock and roll mixed in. Ah, so this is a hint. I'm thinking. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be thinking in the. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be consider this. This is good. Who is doing the music for No More Heroes 3? Ah, 今回ねまたちゃんとあのあ多分リリースも出てると思うんですけども金子信明さんというあのライズというバンドのドラムをやっててでソロでも音楽活動してるんですね。で今日本ではあの俳優さん役者さんとしてもすごく有名な方になっていて彼がすごく本当にめちゃくちゃゲーマーなんですよ。あの日本のファミ通でも連載を昔持ってて。そのぐらい本当ゲームが好きな人で、で彼にちょっとオファーしたら一緒にやろうって言ってくれたので、音楽も今回すごくめちゃくちゃかっこいい音楽になっています。期待してください。The music in No More Heroes, I've I've listened to the No More Heroes one and two soundtracks hundreds of times. The No More Heroes music is very good. It's some of the best video game music. It's beautiful, and I expect very good things from No More Heroes three. I'd say also that uh, you know uh, some of my favorite filmmakers, um, Kubrick and uh, Ridley Scott. Uh, the music is very important in their films. It's almost haunting and stays with you. And the music for No More Heroes works the same way. You know, it's so unique. As soon as you hear that, you know, it just takes you there. It's so good. It's so good. It's so good. How about in No More Heroes One and Two? You save by using the toilet. It's very famous that Travis saves this game by using the toilet. Will Travis take a dump? Take a dump again in No More Heroes Three. Take a dump. もちろんそれはそうでしょう Of course, of course. Very good. He's gonna take a massive dump. Take a dump. Are we gonna have any?、Uh, Really good voiceover lines for Travis using the bathroom. Let me just say that I've I've only done one session and we haven't we haven't really gotten into anything. I'm not going to say anything, but we've done one session. We did the trailer that people just saw, which was amazing. And if 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 the first session is any example of what's to come, it's going to be a shit fest. Would you say that? Voicing the role of Travis Touchdown comes as naturally to you as taking a dump. Uh, uh, I guess it depends on what the diet is. What what does Travis eat? What's what's his、uh, what's his diet like? Is he getting? Does he get fiber? Does he eat enough fiber? Does he does he have a good time in the bathroom, or is it difficult for him to save the game? We haven't seen him eat a lot. I would think that he'd like pop tarts for sure, like raspberry covered pop tarts. You know, probably junk food, Coca Cola. ジャンクフードだし、あの TSA ではやっぱラーメンばっか食ってたっていうのもあるんで、まああんまりその、うん、食物繊維はと取れてない。だけど、例えば実はねあのまあ TSA やるとわかるんですけど、実はちょっと結婚していて子供もいるんですよ。なのでまあシルビアがちゃんと野菜取りなさいとはいつも言われているので、まあちょっと気をつけてジュースぐらいは飲んでるかもしれない。あとスムージーかな。うん。Probably regarding the ramen noodles, like he probably goes to the noodle houses and he's very specific about the way he wants his noodles. Like if you Fuck it up, it's gonna be trouble. You know, he can eat all the junk food, but when it comes to that one noodle, it's gotta be right. So, so, so. Yeah, and the beer was definitely necessary, or something. Yeah, yeah. So, if Travis absolutely had to eat a vegetable, what vegetable would he eat? Ah, no, all the jam, jamba juice. 
if you see Travis, tell him that when I needed to eat more vegetables, cheese on broccoli, cheesy broccoli. Okay. Oh, 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 she. It's good. Oh, you saw so. Okay, just eat too. It's also good for the toilet. Extremely. <laughs> it's extremely good to this. When when American children need to learn to eat vegetables, their their mothers will make them broccoli with cheese. Ah, so that's it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Don't worry, it's almost over. Films and music and the the influence of pop culture in general is always integral to a grasshopper game. I feel like it's a good idea to ask you what movies have you been enjoying lately? What what music have you been listening to lately? So, you mean the mono? やっぱりロッキーシリーズかなやっぱり俺クリードも良かったしで今回やっぱりノーマーヒューズ3はロッキー3をすごくイメージして Well, you know, maybe Travis's voice, you know, could sort of be like this, you know We can always do that Yo, what do you mean? Hey, hey Yo, what do you mean? Hey, that's so Hey, it's me Rocky ちょっと俺、練習します。今度、なんか、if you need a voice actor, let me know. I, I can do your voice though, so. Alright,、um, say, Hey, it's me, Rocky. Hello, I'm Tim Rogers. Hello, I'm Tim Rogers. That's pretty close. <laughs> oh god, I might as well quit right now. Get Michael Kainen to do the interviews, you know. He could sort of, you know, just sit there. And ask questions, you know what I mean? Oi. Take a dump. Oi. Thank you very much for talking to me today. Thank you. I had a, it was, it was, it was wonderful. Arigato, Tim, Honto. Thank you. Let's, let us, let us meet again. Aone, okay. I will be in Tokyo later this year. Maybe, maybe we can、uh, have a, something to, something to drink, something to eat. じゃあ、おいくぼの彼女に会いに行くの、昔の彼女。彼女は結婚しても、子供一人いる。そうか、ね、素晴らしい。Yeah, great. Uh, if, if someone was coming out to Japan and you wanted to show them a great place and have a good time, where would you take them?。ああ、まず一番いいのは、やっぱハトバス、黄色い黄色いバスなんですよね。とにかくいろんな。コースがあってでいろんな調子をするんですけどもなかなかその普段じゃいけないような場所を案内してくるんですねバスであの海外のみんな人気あるのがやっぱりロボットレストランめちゃくちゃ人気ある俺昔彼女とハトバスで千葉のシェイクスピアパークに行ったんだけどすごいねそんなところ行くのハトバスシェイクスピアパークシェイクスピアパークというところがあるのあるある日本のすごい変なところがある千葉に千葉にあるんだあ,ありがとうなんかドイツパーク、あのドイツパークもあった。そうそう、ドイツパークは有名、うん、大人気。なんかいちご牧場みたいなところ、なんかいちごが。いちご狩りした。味わいちご狩りしたんだ。おお、ああ、いい思い出。いい思い出。<笑> Keep watching Kotaku dot com. I'm a Tim Rogers. I was born stupid. However, I will not die hungry. Video games forever. Kotaku dot com. Kotaku dot com. Kotaku dot com. I'll be back. Take a dump. Okay.